cross mourn hungers. Your soul is mine. <laughs> that was my Arthas, thank you. So yes, today in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of the other melee warriors in the game. Uh, specifically Arthas, or as he's also known as the Lich King. Once the crowned prince me. of Lord Darren and protege of Uther the Lightbringer, Arthas was corrupted by the cursed blade Frostmourne in a bid to save his people. Now he rules over the, the damned as the Lich King and all shall know his wrath. Yeah, basically the Lich King, in, according to the World of Warcraft lore, is, uh, is the head of... Uh, I guess what they call the Scourge, which is pretty much like an army of the dead or, you know, things like that. Like, if he defeats an enemy and, you know, literally kills them, he can actually bring them back from the dead and have them be part of his army. So, yeah. He's a pretty powerful character in the World of Warcraft uh, lore. And, uh, as a warrior, he can be pretty strong if he's built, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you build him correctly and also if you uh, use him right. But more so... Later on in a match, Join early on, me. he can be a little vulnerable, but uh, later on in the match, he can uh, be able to sustain himself pretty well as a tank. Uh, his abilities, Death Goil, he can either use this to attack an enemy or self-cast to heal himself. Howling Blast, he can root enemies within the target area for a second and a half and deal a good amount of uh, 30 damage. Frozen Tempest is a sustain effect or area of effect ability where... Uh, he pretty much has like uh, a, a tempest of cold around him. Uh, it damages uh, per second to nearby enemies and slows enemy movement speed. Pretty good. Now he's got a couple of interesting. Uh, he's also got a trait called Frostmourne Hungers, <laughs> fittingly, where he can activate to make the next basic attack strike immediately and do 100% increased damage and restore 30 mana. His two heroics, one is Army of the Dead, summons ghouls that last 15 seconds, sacrifice ghouls me. to heal for 104 health, and summons Syndragosa, his dragon that he flies on, deals 150 damage and slows enemies by 60% for 2 seconds, and disables minis for 10 seconds, and structures for 20 seconds. So this is kind of like, um, I guess you could say it's similar to how Raynor's heroics are, whereas Syndragosa is kind of like the Hyperion, where you can use it against structures. You know, like if you're wanting to stop forts from attacking you, it's a good uh, heroic for pushing lanes, I guess. Um, whereas Army of the Dead, I think it's more. I think which heroic you should use for Arthas actually kind of depends on what map you're using. Uh, if you're in a map where you know you're going to be going to a single point and there will be team battles there, Army of the Dead can be a good thing to help back you up if you're all by yourself. You know, sometimes Arthas could end up by himself and he may need some backup. Join so, uh, they can help you out in those tough spots as opposed to if you are doing summon Sujigosa, it's going to go in a, a line rather than just help you out in a certain area. His skins, you know, he's got some variations here. One, this is the regular look. He's got a black look, pretty cool. And he's got a complete white look, which is fitting since he's always around ice and snow. His master skin, he gets a couple of big horns here. You can see the differences here. Just some added stuff. A nicer cape, pretty much. Pretty cool. Uh, added uh, stuff there on uh, Frostmourne. He's got a couple interesting skins. He's got Frostworm Arthas, where you can see his face. Different armor, different look to Frostmourne. And then you've got Crown Prince Arthas. This is how he looked in Warcraft 3. Uh, oh wow, really? Epic skin features. This skin has completely replaced voiceover. The skin's abilities are enhanced Join to match its theme. Death. Really? That's pretty cool. So you can have a, a different look and feel and sound to this skin. Uh, pre this is how he looked before he got acquired Frostmourne and became the Lich King. So that's how he looked in Warcraft 3. And uh, I'm planning actually doing a playthrough at some point of Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne, so we can take a look at what happened to Arthas uh, before he became the Lich King. In fact, it pretty much helped show everything that leads up to him getting Frostmourne and it turning him into the Lich King. And we saw his abilities already. Talents, I kind of like to go with either Eternal Hunger so I can get more mana while I use Frostmourne Hungers, or Regeneration Maker to give himself more health, uh, have him better health regeneration. After all, he is a tank. 
uh, reduce the amount of mana that Frozen Tempest costs. Rune Tap, I like this because every third attack heals you. So you can be Join basically a self-healing tank, pretty much. Uh, and then, of course, I already talked about the heroics. Here, I like to, re to increase the amount of damage that Frozen Tempest can uh, cause. And this is an interesting one, Immortal Coil. So that way, even if you use it to attack an enemy, it'll still heal you. But if you do use it on yourself, it'll increase the amount of health it gives you. And then either one of these, too, depending on what heroic we do. So, now we've taken a look at Arthas thoroughly. Let's now take a look at him in action. Whoops, wrong button. Frostborn hungers. Oh. I may have picked the wrong skin variation, but, uh... Oh well. So we have a healer, two tanks, Tassadar and Jaina. This should be interesting. Ah, see now on this map, Dragonshire, I think Army of the Dead may actually be a better heroic to use here than Sindragosa because of those times where we're going to be trying to fight for those shrines. Because there are times where I may be at a shrine all by myself and I may need some backup, so... So I'm probably going to go uh, with that heroic on this map. Then again, I may I am the tank, so... Well, actually, I'm not the only tank. I take that back. We do have another tank. So either... Probably either ETC or myself will be manning the mid lane so we can grab the knight. While the others go battle for the shrines. Hopefully this team knows how to play this map. It's always something I'm always worried about playing quick match. Heroes, prepare for combat. All right. None shall so let's victory. go with uh, health regeneration. So let's see, uh, two top, two bot, one, a Battle tank, in mid. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight Alright, here well, we go. Heroes. So ETC will man the mid while Malfuri and I go for top for top and Tassar and Jaina go bot. All shall suffer. Oh boy, ETC is uh oh, three went mid, oh boy. I would say that's fine. That's fine. Makes it the ancient shrines of control mm. them and let loose Whoops. the dragon knight. Can't type while, while fighting. Whoops. All shall suffer. Here to get shrines. Valfurion, come back! Fury, activate the shrines and the dragon's power is I don't yours. have any mana. Can't keep using it. Finally. Back here. Ah! Oh, good. We got the knight. See? Like I said, made it easier to get, get it. This world will Assist our ally. There we go. 
Alright, I, I guess we'll go help our knight. Oh, wow, he just went right through there. He's like, I'm going straight there. Wow. Oh, boy. Heal me, Malfurion. I need to go to a fountain. Here we go. Run, ETC. Oh, he's close to getting that Illidan. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Ah. Oh, I was right in the spot where that fork got me. Ah. Alright. See if Malfurion and I can cause some damage up top. I figured Jaina and Tassar would be able to handle bot. <laughs> Causing damage to both the gate and the tower. Oh. oh man. Ah. Oh boy, they all came for us. Oh boy. Oh, Malfurion had to bail before healing me. Oh, here come the shrines. Wow, they are like heavy top. That's fine. Look, they're pushing bot. Jane and Tessa pushing bot. Go, go, go. ETC looks like he's handling himself mid. Choose a tough Yeah, I got Lily. Oh, let's get the shrines. And slaughter your enemies. Minions. Yeah, they're like not coming. EGC's trying to get the shrine. Oh, oh really, Lily? Oh, I missed her. Stay off our shrine. Oh. I Oh man, there we go. Well, I'm out of mana. Uh, that's the bad thing about using Frozen Tempest. It drains your mana so fast. Uh uh, Sylvanas. Uh uh, I see what you're doing. Now, if you're in. They're all, they're defending mid. Oh, I'm here. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna head down here. Help, do what I can. Ah! Wow. Assist our ally. Ah. Come on! Yeah! Oh man, they got to the top shrine. Ah! I'll head up there. I'm low on mana though. Can I? Nope, I gotta wait now 30 seconds. Here we go. Ah! Come, my minions! Serve your king! Oh, 
wow. Really? Ah, man. They're not gonna grab before they get that shrine. Nope. What did ECC pick? He picked Mosh Pit! Ah, oh, man! I wish he had picked Stage Dive, then he could have dove right over there. Alright, I'm gonna try and take back this shrine. Alright, we got their Bala. Nice. Oh, 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 we got the Sylvanas. Sweet. Assist our ally. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. And now I'll try and push top while they push mid. Choose a talent. Death comes for you. Get out of the range here and then take them on. While, my, while the minions come from behind. Then they can draw their attention. In fact, I'll use my, my army here to help, help attack. Retreat, guys! Retreat! There we go. Heal myself a bit. The push up top is real! Let's see if we can grab these knights here. We're all kind of close by. Uh-oh, Sylvanas is trying to push the bottom. Oh! Oh, he got Sylvanas. We should capture this mission. Oh, I see what they want to do. Alright, hang on, team. I'm on my way. Uh-oh, Illidan's behind me. I may have died, but at least we were causing some damage there. Someone go get that shrine up top! Uh oh, Malfurion's about to die. Oh boy. Oh wow, their avatar went with that? Really? Huh. ETC says he's ready. I'm surprised no one, none of them are trying to steal that. Oh, now they are. Now that they realize, they're like, uh oh. There go those knights. Hmm. J 
Dana's gonna guard top, it looks like. Oh, great, now my teammates are dying. Alright, they were like, nope, not gonna take on two tanks. No way. Go get an ETC. Yeah, here we go. Their Vala up top tried so hard to get that try. Nope. Savannah and Abathur got me, but that's alright. Still doing pretty well. Almost at 20. Tassadar and Jaina are getting mercs. Good. Jaina, don't forget the mercs! Jaina almost completely forgot. We got those giants. Looks like they're both gonna try and get those knights. That's fine. Sylvanas is gonna try and hold them off. Pretty good to up top. If we can get those knights to help push top, that'd be great. Oh! Here and then here. Choose a talent. There we go. My army is even stronger now. Awaken once more. Who will control Look at them pushing the bottom knights. with the knights now. We're gonna get these knights. Sweet. Ended up with a good team here. See if they're trying to take these knights themselves. Unleash its power. They are. Well, I forced them to Lily to use her ult at that point in time. They were distracted with that as opposed to trying to get the Dragon Knight. We should strike the enemy's core. Those knights are gonna try and push top. They did get those those knights though to help fight back, but that's all right. I doubt they'll be able to do much. Besides, we're pushing their core. That Lily should not be paying attention to that. That Lily should head back and help. Woohoo! I think that might be it. Those knights are battling there. Oh, mosh pit. Wow, it sounded different. I heard that. That, that was pretty cool. Good game. 
Well deserved, heroes. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> All right, so that was Arthas. Eh. Oh, wow. I actually had the most hero damage. On a team with Jaina, I had the most hero damage. Wow. I've never seen Arthas have the most hero damage in a match. Then again, I was paired up with Malfurion, and he was healing me in those ma matchups, so... So that was Arthas. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at another biggin. Stay tuned. <laughs>